Ew. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Hey, y'all. It's your girl, Presidential Lily, your favorite Lily. And today, we are here with my morning routine. Let's get into it. So, pretty much after I get finished doing all my little tossing and turning, I finally decide to open my eyes when I really don't feel like it. LOL. But I just stretch out a little bit. And I'm just like, whoo, do my little yawn. I look around and see if anything's changed. No, still the same. Yeah. <laughs> As always. But then I'm just going to sit down and I take me a little prayer. Nothing too long, nothing too short. Just a good little prayer just to start my day off. So once my prayer is all said and done, I'm going to go ahead and start just working the nerve to actually get up out the bed, stretch out, look myself in the mirror, fix myself up a little bit. Now I'm going to go ahead and just get up out the bed. And the first thing I like to do in the morning is open up my blinds a little bit and let it in some of that sunlight just to get my day started. And then I'm going to work my way to the bathroom. So before actually reaching the bathroom, I went ahead and put on a t-shirt before I decided to finish out the rest of this video. But you guys just see me here getting myself ready to brush my teeth and clean my skin. So right here, I will be showing you guys my morning face, face routine. Excuse me, I always mess up. But, um... If you guys want a video on my nighttime routine and see how I clean my skin at night, then please do so by commenting in the comment section down below because my skincare routine at night and during the day are completely two different things. My skincare routine at night is very simple. But the first thing you see me doing here to go in with my skin routine for the morning is I'm taking my Purity May Simple Skin Wash and my Clarisonic Mia One. And I'm taking mostly water and a little bit of that facial wash. And I'm just going to go ahead and work that into my skin. Once I have it all worked into the skin, I'm just going to take some hot water and a rag and I'm going to go ahead and wipe that all off my face. And I'm being very gentle. This is sped up a little bit, so it looks like I'm being a tad bit rough. But in this, during this whole process, I'm very gentle because I want to be sure not to aggravate my skin. And I also want to mention that I accidentally skipped a step. After this part right here, I usually go in with my Dickinson's Witch Hazel. But today, I kind of just skipped forward and went straight to applying my Dark Spot Cream and my Mario Badescu Rose Water Spray. So when going in with my Ambi Dark Spot, well, it's actually called a Fade Cream, but I'll call it a Dark Spot Cream because that's what I use it for, my dark spots. So when going in with my Fade Cream, I'm just going to go ahead and just put it on the targeted areas and I rub it in just a little bit just so it makes it easier for my skin to go ahead and soak up that product once I let that sit on my face for a little while I'm gonna go in my Mario Badescu rose water spray and I'm just gonna spray this all over my face as you see here I'm just giving my I'm fanning my face a little bit giving the spray a little a bit of time to dry partially and then what you're gonna see me do is go ahead and just rub all the fake cream in together with the rose water just to go ahead and give my face a nice hydrated finish Now that I have my face all hydrated, it's time for me to moisturize my lips. And the favorite thing that I like to use to moisturize my lips is my Vaseline Rosy Lips Lip Therapy. It is literally my holy grail. It's the only thing that I put on my lips, to be exact. <laughs> So you just see me here fixing my scarf because I'm not really doing anything special today or going out. So I'm going to keep my scarf all over my head. And that's it for the bathroom. Now, when I'm home alone in the morning, I usually am able to stretch and do a small workout in the beginning of my day. Just to start off my day, get some of my body and my energy up going, get my blood flowing, and just get me pumped up and ready for the day. So there's not really much to say or talk about during this part of the video. So I'm just going to let you guys watch me work out and stretch. And yeah, <laughs> I hope you guys enjoy.
Okay, so I maybe have told a small little fib, but that's okay. Because honestly, I just wanted to tell you guys why I like to stretch and to work out in the morning. So typically, I like to work out in the morning because it gets your endorphins running, of course. So it just gets you a little bit, it just gets you ready and up for the day, gets you energized. It really does change you. Um, just feel throughout the day how you move throughout the day it really just makes you a little bit more happier to me I really do feel like working out during beginning of the day and stretching the beginning of the day does make me a lot more of a happy person throughout the day I'm more positive I'm more ready for the day I feel I can combat anything so it really just makes you feel really good and that's the main reason why I do it the stretching part uh, honestly is kind of new to my daily schedule just because um, I am looking forward to trying out for special teams this is coming up soon so i went ahead and started back trying to get my flexibility in before the tryout comes and basically just pushing myself and working towards new skills that i haven't had since i was a younger so that's just a little bit of info and background on why i work out and stretch in the morning so yeah i'll let you guys finish watching from here Now when I'm finally done with working out, it's time for me to go eat me some breakfast. Yes, so you see me going down the steps. Now I'm in my kitchen. Look around, I'm gonna grab this pot because I bought my niece's bottles the night before. So I'm just gonna pour this water out and I'm gonna clean it out, clean the pot out later. Once I get the pot in the sink, I'm going to go to the pantry and just start looking around and see what I really want to eat this morning. It was the, option where, the options I had were cereal or oatmeal and I always choose oatmeal. And for my breakfast, I always have a fruit alongside my oatmeal. So today's oatmeal choice was apples and cinnamon, like totally my fave, or maple brown sugar. Yeah, totally. And you just see me here opening up the package and I'm only going to pour half of it in there and save the rest for later because I typically don't eat the whole package. Once I add my water, I'm just going to place my oatmeal in the microwave for two minutes and then I'm going to make my way towards the refrigerator and I'm just going to try to pick out a fruit that I want to eat. And then I always like to take, I always keep a naked or a boathouse juice and I always keep the blueberry ones like the naked one is blue machine and the boathouse one is blue goodness. But I always do that. And then you actually see me here picking the fruit out that I want. I typically eat an orange or an apple and this morning I had an apple alongside my oatmeal. By the time I get my apple all rinsed off and stuff, it's almost time for my oatmeal to come out the microwave. So I kind of just sit there and wait for the microwave to ding and then I take the oatmeal out. And I'm just going to further situate my oatmeal to my liking to eat. And then you're just going to see me sit there and kind of just eat my apple because I love apples. It's like my favorite fruit.
Once I've completely eaten my apple to the core, I'm going to go ahead and just start to work on my oatmeal. And I'm going to eat the whole, whole, whole thing up because I didn't make that much and I'm not going to overfill myself. And ta-da, it's all gone. So once I'm done eating my oatmeal, I go make myself a mug of ice water and my champagne for breakfast mug. And I typically just go ahead and just, just swallow, gargle, all everything, all the water and ice whole, like all together, just whole. Cause I'm like super dehydrated by this point. So I just ate all that oatmeal. So now almost coming to a close with my morning routine, it's about time for me to get in the shower after all this stuff I've already done previously this morning. And this is just going to completely wake me up, get me ready and prepared for the day, and just give me that oomph and that last little kick on to start working, doing something to progress my day. So I'm going to get in the shower. And I'm just going to throw my clothes over the shower curtain. Yep, 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 yep. Jumping over the fence. I don't know. <laughs> and the first thing I'm going to take is my body wash. It is by Shea Moisture. And it's the Coco Coconut Daily Hydration Soap. And then I'm going to take my Tree Hunt Shea Sugar Scrub in the flavor, flavor, scent Moroccan Rose. And then I'm going to grab my towel. Swipe. And then I'm outie. Yeah. So hey y'all. Um, so you last seen me, I got out the shower. Um, I put on lotion, I moisturized my body. When I moisturize my body, I like to use the Shea Moisture uh lotion, any Shea Moisture lotion. The particular lotion I'm using by Shea Moisture right now is the Super Fruit Complex Lotion. I completely love that that um little scent compact version of it i don't know what to call it like that little scent of the shea moisture brand i love it. it's my favorite i love their scrub i love their body wash i love the lotion of course the lotion really does work with my skin really good and the lotion is very moisturizing it's like really thick and creamy and leaves your skin looking really like really like hydrated and supple and just um uh, it firms your skin. The super fruit complex lotion firms your skin or oh, everything in that skin um skin flavor snit. It like tones your skin, it tightens up your skin. So that's why I like it. It gets my skin looking really tight, pretty, and just hydrated. Um and it if you have eczema, it's totally perfect for you. I suffer from eczema. I have really big eczema spots on my shins. Um, eczema spots everywhere in my body, my arms, my legs, my stomach, and it got it at least, it got rid of it at least around like a week and a week and a half. So I suggest if you're going to go ahead and try any Shea Moisture brand of lotion, go ahead and try it if you have eczema and give it like two weeks to, for, before you see really good results. But it typically works for me and my dry skin, so I'm all for it. Um, I also like the Aquaphor for like eczema spots. So if you don't, if that doesn't work for you, you can go try uh, Aquaphor. Um, I put on my deodorant. I use Degree. I love Degree. Um, I always put on a little body oil just so I can smell good throughout the day. Um, my um, <clears throat> body wash and my scrub and my lotion all have a scent to them and they all smell really great so I really don't need that much perfume throughout the day. Um, so I just use a little bit of body oil and my favorite scent of body oil is um, the Amber Superior Amber White or a superior white amber and uh i got this one from honeybees if you're in nashville or antioch area in tennessee then you know about honeybees there's also it's also this one guy his name is jesse his is sis for you i don't know if he's still open or not but he has the best body oils and they last you for forever literally forever so yeah i just Throw on this little slip dress, this little bodycon dress to chill and lounge around th throughout the day. Um, so usually my morning routine goes a little bit differently because I watch my nieces. I watch my niece every day, and you know usually she's like two months old. So usually when I wake up, I'm waking up to her crying, 
um, or like my brother bringing her in or whatever and she's crying because she's ready for a bottle and I usually feed her and then I uh, get her down and then I usually start a little bit later in the day. I probably start doing my morning routine, my day routine, probably around like a, maybe like um, 10, 11 o'clock, but I'm up around like 7 or 8 So um, with her. So yeah, uh, usually the stretching and the working out, sometimes it may come through the day before I take my shower. And it's a little bit more shortened just because I have her and she's, she tends to wake up a lot and fight her sleep. So yeah, but today, this is usually what I do when I don't have her. This is exactly how my mornings go every single time she's not here. Uh, yeah, so if you guys want to see a night routine or if you guys want an actual breakdown of my skincare routine, because like I stated in the video, my skincare routine from day and night are two completely different things. And, um, yeah, and I, there, there's a reason for that. So if you guys want the video, make sure you link that down, uh, comment that down in the uh, comment section below and go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe wherever it is. And also make sure that you check out the description bar and it's also going to be down here. Go ahead, if you don't already, follow me on my social medias. I have um, Snapchat Snapchat, and Instagram. I update the most. Twitter, I'm just on there lurking. So I really wouldn't suggest you follow me on Twitter, but um, Instagram and Snapchat is what I update the most. So if you guys want to see what I do throughout the day and keep us stay updated with me, go ahead and add me on those. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I'm going to go ahead and start editing. And yeah.